Hey guys, Bajunga Dustin here, uh, and I'm going to show you how to solo Brutalis. This is uh, probably the hardest fight in Sunwell to solo. Um, he does have a lot of damage output, uh, it's, it's not as much as like patchwork, but it's like, it's, uh, it's mainly hard to solo just for the fact that, that if you're on a monk, you don't have a, a regular pet, so you have to take um, the Zen that the White Tiger tank uh, in order to get rid of a debuff that you see I have stacking up to three right now. It's called Meteor Slash, and uh, the, it, it will cause you to take a shit ton of damage. Like you'll start getting hit for like 200,000 if it gets stacked up too high. And the way that he does that is um, he uh, he attacks in front of him, and if you're standing in like a 180 degree range in front of him, you will start taking that debuff stack. So now I'm up to five stacks. I'm gonna pop my tiger, and I'm going to get behind him. And it works out good because a lot of bosses won't. The, the the tiger won't actually pull a, pull a threat on him. He'll just like sit there and DPS, and they won't change targets. But this one actually works. So just sit like you gotta you gotta figure out a way to get behind him. So if you're not on a monk, and like like I'm sure that like uh, like shamans might be able to use their their elementals. You know, like hunters obviously have pets. Warlocks it should be pretty easy. I don't know that a warrior would be able to get rid of the debuff. So you're just gonna have to burst DPS it down. But it's pretty easy for a monk, except the tiger, you can't really control what it does at all. And it keeps bouncing around to avoid stuff. You know, the new pet mechanics are pretty sick. But uh, oh, this fight is kind of annoying. So I got rid of my debuff, and now I'm back. Back on him, and uh, the debuff's already starting to stack again. So now, uh, it's just kind of just to uh, keep self-healing. Keep, uh, you know, popping cooldowns, and I took the uh, Zen Sphere. I think that it, overall, it provides more self-healing than the other one. I don't remember what it's called, the one that bounces. Because if you're, you know, if you're in a raid, or you're in, you're in your solo and stuff, there's a good chance, unless it's, like, in this fight it would be okay, because it's just me and him, and it would just bounce back and forth. And heal me, deal damage to him, heal me, deal damage to him like four or five times. But if you're in a raid, the odds of it hitting the boss and coming back to you are slim to none. You know, if you're if you're solo on a boss that has a bunch of ads, then it's gonna bounce probably to an ad and then him and then back to you and then whatever. So I think overall the best option is the Zen Sphere because if you use it again <coughs> then it will he do an AOE heal. And I've been using that sucker in raids and used it twice. Like you use it and then use it while it's active again and it's healed like everybody in the raid for like 50, 60,000. So it's definitely better. So I'm up to nine stacks. And I'm waiting for my tiger to cool down so need to really keep on yourself healing because you know 116,000 is no joke Buff's gone, so yeah. The amount of health he's got left, I don't think it'll matter by the time I by the time he dies. 
The debuff will be back high enough to do the damage. That's basically all you gotta do. If you uh, have any questions, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. And uh, I will be posting more videos up. Uh, if you wanna know how to get the dragon, or get past the uh, first boss, just walk around him. It's pretty easy. Now, this gets interesting.